Hey guys, today we have the Telstra Cobra XH modem and uh, we're gonna be tearing it down. So let's get to that. All right guys, we have the um, we have the modem here, as you can see, nice Telstra logo. Um, honestly, it's a bit of work to get the um, this off. I had to like hit it with a screwdriver, which I'm not gonna show you on camera, but it's pretty messed up. Um, okay, <laughs> um, so in all honesty, uh, I took the screws out for this already. Um, this is just like a heatsink or something. Um, it's boring. I don't want to have to show that on camera. Um, let's get to the interesting part, which is everything else, I guess. Um, actually not sure. Let's, um, let's take this thing off. So um, I just got my iFixer kit here. Um, I don't know what head it's called, but it's a little star. What's it called? A T3. A T3. I'm not particularly sure what that means. I'm not too informed. But um, it's a bit of a bit tight here. Oh. I'm not sure what this is. If anybody in the comments could let me know, that'd be cool. But, um, looks pretty cool. <laughs> looks like something important, probably. Um, <sighs> these screws are pretty tight. Like, surprisingly, for electronics. They're normally not this tight. Um, but at least all the screws are the same head, which makes it easy, even though you it's not like a normal. Um, yeah, look at that. It's got like foam, which I think is for like as a heat. It's not foam. It's like, um, what do you call it? It's a thermal pad. Like a thermal pad, yeah, it just broke, so <coughs> whatever. Um, that's something that looks like it's important. Um, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Let's just start taking this board out. Um, a lot of components. This also has, let's take this off. Um, I don't plan on using this anymore. So it's all good. Um, I can't read that. This is a Quectal chip. I don't know. Um, I don't know if that picks up on the camera or if you can read that, but pretty cool. Uh, there's some foam here, which might need to take off. Uh, we'll see. All right, now. We have a bunch of cables connecting. Um, might make it a bit hard to get this off, but there's a clip there, clip there, clip there. Um, let's just rip this foam off. If you wanna salvage this, I mean, if you wanna reuse it or if you're trying to fix something, probably don't rip this foam off or all that everything, but they clearly don't want it to be opened. Um, these seem like they're, looks like they're soldered on, so, oh, oh, nope, they're not. They're just kind of interesting. All right, these come off and they are able to be replugged if need be. Um, <laughs> I would keep track of which ones go where probably, but and these connect to just various chips around the board. Um, now, this might be a bit hard to get out. There's one more screw. I missed a screw, actually. Um, in a bit of a tricky spot. They clearly do not design these to be opened by the consumer. Um, Yep, I'm just going to bend these clips. Again, don't do that if <laughs> you actually want to use this. But 
bend them out of the way, or at least try to, and, uh, oh. <laughs> all right, let's just see what we can do here, might need to get a different uh, head, See, that's going to be a problem, probably, but uh, we'll cross that road when we get to it. She's still a SIM card in there. Just keep that. Um, how do I do this? Yeah, I can just unplug them. Yeah, why not? All right, well, I'm taking the... <laughs> um, that's coming off. Some copper, whatever that is. Um, some here too. Just gonna take that off. Uh, yeah. Not very graceful, but it is what it is. Um, I don't even know. Do you need another set of hands? All right, popped it out one spot. I'm gonna try pop it out in another. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing damage somewhere, but. Um, so I popped it out of that clip. I popped it out of that one, I'm trying to get it out of this one and this one. This is, this is a tricky little, tricky little, there we go, get that out, and ta-da, here we have the board, in all, all its body glory, um, alright, um, as you can see, it's just basic board stuff, there's whatever this is, <laughs> I actually don't know where, where that goes or anything, um, yeah, just another part, all right, and you got all these cables, um, <clears throat> if you follow them, this yellow one goes to this board, each of them went to a different board, um, as you can see, they just all went to these different boards, um, I believe this side is going to be a similar case to pop out, um, if you see, this is power, um, these are the two phones. These are just little switches. Nothing crazy. Big, um, I believe that's a capacitor. Looks cool. Or maybe it's like a battery or something. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really informed on these sort of things. Um, now if you really needed to, you could take those off and probably stick them back on. Uh, it's probably ill-advised, but... Once again, we have these cables. Which all just lead to different chips. Um, I'm not sure what they do. Once again, we have clips. are a bit hard to pop off. <laughs> um, you're just going to have to use brute force, I think, for these. Um, it's not coming out because I missed a screw. Who would have known? This, this is the cream of tear. Authentic tear. The creme de la creme. The creme de la creme of tear. That was exactly right. Cream of the crop. Um, open that out. <laughs> that didn't sound good, did it? Ah, it's all good. And then just get this bad boy out. And here we have a look. Once again, more thermal schmutz. Um, if you really wanted, you 
could probably reapply that or something. I don't know. Um, I believe this part would go into this part here. As we click together. Yep. Um, not sure what that does, but probably important. And uh, this is just the pretty much empty unit. Uh, obviously, there's all these cables connected to all these uh, chips. Technicolor something. Uh, I don't know. You want to just... Yep. Um, there's nothing really else in it. But, yeah. Anyway, guys, that was the uh, teardown. Yep. Thanks for watching.